Hello and welcome to our first blog of 2023, in which we discuss how the Lincoln housing market has now become more normal over the last three months after the last couple of years of insane demand that began when the lockdown started a race for space. Even with the blackening economic doom mongers forecasting a harsh slowdown in the British property market, the number of people buying and selling their homes is still very good for the time of year. Whilst many homeowners are reducing their asking prices, it is not the 20 to 30 percent drop some property commentators and newspaper journalists had predicted. Looking at the statistics for Lincoln for the last three months, they make good reading. Of the 311 Lincoln properties that have sold subject to contract since late September, the average length of time it took to achieve a sale was 59 days. Interesting when you split it down by price. For homes under £100,000 the average was 89 days. From £100 to £200,000 the average was 48. From £200 to £300,000 it was 78 days. From £300 to £400,000 this was slightly less at 75 days. Properties from 400 to 500,000 pounds were second fastest at 57 days. And from 500 to 1 million pounds it has taken an average of 132 days. No properties have sold in the over 1 million price range. The latest sold price data from the Land Registry shows that Lincoln house prices currently remain 8.1% higher than they were 12 months ago the rate of growth has dropped significantly. Last month, Lincoln house prices only rose by 1.4%. Thus, we are seeing the first sign that the property market is starting to cool. With interest rates at 3.5% and further increases likely in 2023, that will undoubtedly spur ongoing cooling in Lincoln property values yet it's doubtful we will see the local property market go into the deep freeze that many doom mongers were predicting. As I said in recent articles on the Lincoln property market, we will see a 5-10% to reduction in Lincoln house prices over the next 12-18 to 18 months. That will only take us back to the prices achieved in mid to late 2021 or early 22, depending on the property type. Landlords have experienced double-digit rent growth in the last 12 to 18 months with a shortage of rental properties coming onto the market. I cannot see this changing in the short term, so I expect rents to be a further 10% higher by Christmas 2023. Last week I stated it is not always wise to only focus on house prices but also take reference from the number of property transactions completed that feed the fire of the British property market. For example, in March 2021, 135,670 properties sold, yet a month later, it dropped to 87,600. A couple of months later, it rose again in June 2021 to 165,290 homes sold, only for it to drop to 64,000 in July. Whilst this is good news for estate agents and removals companies, it can skew the market and put undue pressure on the property market, pressure which could cause a housing crash if not put under check. Like most things are slow, Steady and consistent growth is the preferred option for the property market. Throughout 2022, the number of properties selling in the UK has been a steady average of 68,832 per month, ranging from a low of 61,800 in January 2022 to 72,200 in that July. This consistency will continue into 2023 and a return to a more normal housing market. One final thing I have noticed about the Lincoln property market in the last six months is the number of larger properties coming onto the market that last sold over 25 years ago. Homeowners in their 20s, 30s and early 40s tend to move every five or six years, yet when they reach their late 40s and 50s, 
they tend to stay put for longer. These properties only tend to come on the market when people pass away or must be sold for nursing home fees. These mature homeowners are downsizing for several reasons. Their children have flown the nest and they're rattling around in homes with accommodation they don't need. Some are being driven to sell their large homes in light of mounting energy bills, high inflation and never-ending maintenance costs that larger properties demand. The second reason is that the recent rises in Lincoln house prices has meant the money released to downsize has grown, meaning if these mature homeowners sell up and cash and wan moving to more manageable properties, the amount of money released is quite impressive. In conclusion, 2023 is going to be a more normal year, akin to the 2016 to 2019 years. Lincoln homeowners need to be realistic with their pricing, yet as over 8 out of 10 sellers buy another home, the one you buy will be lower. If you are considering selling your Lincoln home in 2023 and would like a chat about your options, feel free to drop me a line or call the office. Thank you for listening.